does the rotation of the galaxies and the cones yeah. have anything to do with the measurement of dark matter? So, you can estimate the amount of dark matter in individual galaxies from the rotation of the galaxy. That seems to work. But measuring that Doppler effect. What causes the rotation initially? Initial angular, initial angular momentum of the cloud that fell. It's basically conservation of angular momentum. You have a slowly rotating cloud that collapses along the axis of rotation. And, as and the, uh, the it's, it's, it gets the it's, it's a figure skater effect. Yeah. Uh, do we? Why aren't? Why can't we just say that dark matter is like a bunch of black holes? It could be. We, uh, don't we don't have a good mechanism for making a bunch of black holes in the right mass. We, what we do know is that the experiments done in the mid-1990s of, of a phenomenon called microlensing, which is the individual bright the lensing of stars in our own galaxies, or actually in the, Milky, in the Magellanic Cloud, our closest galaxy, have shown that the halo of our own galaxy is not made of clump-like objects. So black holes don't work for the halo of our galaxy. But the stuff in clusters of galaxies could be black holes. We don't have a good mechanism for making that many black holes. Because the mechanism we have for making black holes is through stars. And if there were that many stars, we'd have run out of, we'd have much less hydrogen than we have now. We'd have much more heat. They couldn't have been made during the Big Bang. They could have been made. That's about the only time. The constraint we have is we can't make them after the universe was about 10 billion degrees temperature. Because that's when the helium was made. Before then, you can make as many black holes as you want, but we don't have a good mechanism for making. Yeah. So dead black hole, many black holes are not ruled out as the dark matter. They're not the currently favored model. The currently favored model is subatomic particles. And the reason the currently favored model is that particle physicists know that their model is an incomplete, and they know they need some more particles. And some of the particles they think they need would work really well for this. So until they can show that those particles don't exist, they're the best candidate. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a current theory for what dark energy is? The currently current best theory, and it's not a particularly pleasant one, is that it is a cosmological constant. That it is the equivalent of vacuum energy. That is, empty space has energy, and that energy can't be set to zero. You know, the most of physics works on energy differences. Gravity, unfortunately, works on absolute energy. So if your zero of energy isn't really zero, this is the effect you get. So there is an inference. Ah, <laughs> right. Ah. That is correct. Yeah. It's that we know that there is energy in empty space because you, you know that if you take two, two plates and put them close together, they'll be attracted. Other questions? Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right.